Hi, I'm Brandon Donaldson and welcome to Build It with Brandon. And today I'm going to be building the AIY Vision Kit. And you might be asking yourself, what is the AIY Vision Kit? Well, it is a do-it-yourself intelligent camera. So it has a camera on board which can recognize emotions and real world objects, which is really cool. So I went on to put this, I've been curious because I've been going by this at Target, looking at the electronics, which I like to browse and I'm curious. I've been really wanting to build this, but I needed a purpose. So I thought I'm gonna record it and share the building experience with you. So today I wanna see how this comes together. So you stay tuned, we'll, we'll try it at the end of the video and, and see how this recognizes. I could probably smile and go, Ooh, that's a smile and go frown. That is a frown. I'm kind of hoping it will recognize that and how well it will recognize it. So it says on the back that says uh, the AIY Vision Kit from Google is an intelligent camera that can see and recognize objects and detect facial expressions or emotions. And so add functionality to Raspberry Pi and Pi camera using our Vision Bonnet. Bonnet. Is that the, the, like, I think of the little house in the prairie, a gal skipping through the field, and she has on the little hat with kind of, and, and tie down here, and she's skipping through the wheat field with her basket, or maybe that's some other movie, but that's how I, that's how I picture it, and I'm kind of wondering, that kind of covers her head, so I'm thinking that, that must apply to this vision bonnet, this creative uh, description. Okay, so it goes on to say, uh, which provides on-device neural network acceleration. Well, those are some cool buzzwords. On-device neural network. So I think of neurons connecting together real fast and accelerating to recognize real-world objects. So I can go and I'm pretending I'm holding this. Of course, I can hold it and I can point it at my coffee cup and say, oh, look, it thinks it's a coffee cup. Oh, look, it thinks it's a power supply. Okay, I have a power supply here. And, oh, look, there's a camera pointing at me, recording me on YouTube. Oh, look at that. Okay, so what is included in this thing? So let me look at that. So it says, included, Vision Bonnet, Raspberry Pi Zero WH. Well, I'm not sure what WH is yet. So Raspberry Pi Camera V2. And we have a micro SD card, electrical hardware, mechanical hardware, cardboard push button, micro SD card, and not included, USB power supply. Okay, so I have taken a USB power supply. Now I saved these from my other devices and this was, I'm gonna repurpose this from my first Google Chromecast, or yeah, I think it's Chromecast. Um, anyways, or Google Cast, whatever they call it now. I have one in the back of the TV. Um, so I'm gonna repurpose this, that's cool. So you need one of these, this doesn't come with a kit, so you can see it's separate, so I had to either purchase this, and, and I'll leave a link below just in case you don't know where to get it. And if you don't know where to get this, I got it at Target, you, I have a link below where you can get it, and that'll probably take you to Amazon or somewhere like that, or to Walmart, or Target. Um, does it come with Amazon? Yeah, you can get it on Amazon or Target, wherever. So what I wanna do is put this together. Oh, it has some more instruction. This is a hackable project. Ooh. Hackable. You know what? I have some squirrels that are greedy and like to eat my bird seed and scare off the pretty birds. So what I want to do is actually set this up by the bird feeder and have it recognize the squirrels, run a routine to switch a relay to turn on something to scare the squirrels. So what could I use to scare the squirrels? I've been thinking maybe I could have a fan set up so I could turn, see, look, oh look there's a squirrel. Ooh, let's scare the squirrel and okay relay goes on and maybe turns on the fan with ribbons and maybe the ribbons get close to the bird feeder and maybe that would scare off the squirrels or what else could I use I could use maybe something like a motor that whips around a little string I don't want to hurt the squirrels because I like the animals but they're just getting fat off the bird seat so I kind of feel bad and plus I want to see more birds than squirrels because there's three of them that big big guys now because they're getting Loaded off the bird bird seed. So if I could bring him, scare him. With, oh, so if I could scare him, what could I use to scare him? What else? What else could I use to scare him? Well, 
I'm kind of hoping you have some ideas too. So if you could share what you think I could turn on, I'm going to use 110 volts so I could plug in um, USB power supply, I could plug in um, anything with 110 volt. That's what I'm going to relay or, or switch on the power. So it's just going to be on and off. So if you have some ideas, can you share that with me and, the, and we'll see what comes up in that. So that's the next video I want to record is um, scare the squirrels with the vision bonnet. <laughs> so vision kit. <laughs> So that'll be fun. So I, I really love this stuff. It's kind of fun to play with. It really gets the brain working and I think you'll enjoy it too. And I want to share it with you today. And so what I want to do is get started and put this together. So stay tuned if you want to watch it through the video. We'll build it together here. And if you want, you can fast forward to the end and see the end result. And so I'll be able to smile at it. I'll be able to point it at things and then subscribe below if you want to see the next episode and please like this it help, really helps um, fuel the creation engine of these videos to share with you if you like the experience you want to see more now I, I know I'm new at this so if you just hit like it just kind of fuels my gas tank so that's really exciting to see that uh, um, you 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 appreciate that and, and appreciate my adventure and sharing this with you so let's get started let's put this together it's I can't wait to unwrap this and see how this comes together. So let's let's do it. Okay, so let's get started with the AIY Vision Kit. And what I want to do is pull off the sleeve to start. And I've already done this once, to be honest. I made a mistake with the camera, so I had to start over a little bit. So there's a couple steps that are going to be a little bit different, but this is pretty cool, though. This is the box. I took off the sleeve, and so what I need to do is cut the plastic, or, or the tape there, and then I'm going to open up the box, and let's see, I'm going to pull, see if I can just prop that under the laptop, so that way it doesn't focus on it. Okay, so here's the box, it's all pretty cool organized, it's, uh, we've got the infrastructure, the framework for it. And I'm going to set that to the side. Well, let's take off the sleeve for it. It has a nice little, okay, the cardboard pieces here. All right. The sleeve is off. Okay, there's the two pieces for that. I can move the power supply off to the side. And what I want to do is, uh, it says, Welcome to the AIY Vision Kit. And you need to dial up the instructions on the website. And the website, I have the Giddis. The build your kit step pulled up and so you can dial that up and I'll put the link below. It's also on the website. The website is also g.co forward slash AIY projects and you select the vision kit. Go to build your kit and there's a few steps, a uh, few steps here. And the very first one it says get the latest image and I'm going to save that to the last um, when we do that and I'll walk through that on the desktop. I don't need to do that right now. And, and sure, yeah, what I want to do is get to the cool stuff. All this fun, and we're going to build it. Okay, so I'm going to forward to the very first step. It says round up your parts. And so there's the internal frame cardboard. Okay, so that's this. I can set this one to the side. And then I'm going to move this, to move this forward because we don't really, let's make sure that's not focusing on the box. And I need the Raspberry Pi, so this must be the Ras. no, that's the Raspberry Pi's. Raspberry Pi camera, and I'm, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to ground myself. This is a static um, protection bag, or, yeah, I guess you could say bag, so I'm going to just ground myself on my aluminum laptop. You may have to find some metal. Um, there's special things for that. I don't have the mat. You can get static uh, um, dissipation devices, but I don't have one. Or, or uh, what is it, a mat? It's a mat, look at that little specks I got to clean off. Okay, so I got the camera, ground myself. I'm gonna pull it out. If I can get it open there, and there we go. And there's the camera. And what I wanna do is pull, set this out to the side, I don't need to I don't need that, so I have it slightly different than it would look when, because I've already had to take it apart and then put it back because I had to redo it. So bummed. But for the most part, it's all the same. So this is the Raspberry Pi Electronics. That's going to be in the second phase of development. 
Okay, so I need the piezo, piezo um, speaker here. Uh, and what I want to do is get those out of there. I need the speaker and I need the long flex. So I don't need the lead or that. I'll set the, that over in the garbage bin pile, the bags. Don't need the bonnet yet. I need the long flex. So got the camera, long flex. Okay, so here we go. We're going to match it to the screen and like so. Okay, so now the very second step take the camera and I've already peeled the little plastic protector off of the lens so don't forget to do that and what I want to do is pull this pull the the connector latch up a little bit and so if I pull it up you can see I don't know if you can see it on the camera but you can pull it up okay so that gets it that opens it up because when you push it down it wedges in and it'll wedge the, the flat flex connector into there Okay, so the connector, take the connector, black side up because you want the copper connectors touching the conductors. Okay, so I'm going to put it in, and I've made a mistake here. You get This takes a little bit of effort the very first time. So what I like to do is I'm going to make sure it's seated correctly, perpendicular, and then I'm going to wet, push the, the latch down, and it will kind of snap. You can feel it connect and you can see that there's no gap there just single line so that's that's good for the latch so that's the camera and I may be touching that I should have removed the, the strip but I'll just make sure it's clean okay so the next piece what's next that's three push down on four okay and we want to match this on the camera and we want to find this this uh, what is it? Adhesive liner. I'm going to remove that adhesive liner. I've already done it once, but um, and then I'm going to push it up. Okay, so yeah, okay, so I've already done that. So you have to wiggle it because it's kind of connected there, and it has a little bit of a hinge going on. So you want to make sure the bottom cardboard gets pushed up so it's uh, 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 square, square, and then it'll get up, and then it'll have a second hinge so you can. Push it down, and I'm going to push it down like so. And I want the sticky side to be on the other side. So um, just to compare, fold the flap, and then I'm going to flip flip the cardboard so like so, like this. And then you can see the sticky tacky this. And then I'm going to take the Piezo buzzer. I'm hoping I'm saying that right because I, it's been a while since I've heard that word. Piezo, Piezo. You can tell me how it's supposed to sound. I could probably ask Google to find and get it, but it um, doesn't matter right now. I think I got the point. Got the piezo buzzer stuck to the board with the, this kind of follows that hole there. It's going to thread through in a little bit. Okay, so the next piece is I want to add the camera. That's it. So I got the camera with the, the flex pointing down, and I want to push it into to that. And it's it's got a snug fit, so it kind of snaps in, and you can see that the electronics kind of are carved just so it fits. Okay, so then this top flap, I want to fold down on the camera, but I'm going to flip it over now. And what I want to do is fold this down, and you can see, and what we want to do is, okay, flip up the other side, fold the flap down, and then we're going to pull the sides up, and there's notches here that go in the other side, so you have to push down and kind of get them up. It takes a little bit of work to get them um, to go over the very first time, so you have to work it a little bit. Maybe bend it back and forth so it gets over. As long as, and you got to be careful when you bend it. So you want to hold the entire surface area and push it over, and maybe just do it easy, easy, ease up, because it's so easy to bend cardboard. It's not like it's metal, so it really will bend in the wrong spot, wrong spot if you're not paying attention. So fold the flaps, that's 13, 14, fold up the bottom, so you get music notes right here, upside down, well, um, but uh, what I want to do is fold that up, don't worry about the flex, it's the little tongue sticking out for now. Okay, so I'm going to fold that in, this is a little tougher, you got to get those, those uh, little totem poles stuck in there. Okay, and then once you seat it in a little bit, you use you got to be careful not to bend it, push too hard, or it will get, get out of whack. 
Okay, so 15. 15, we're gonna thread the buzzer wire. Do a little sewing here. So we're gonna go like this, put it in there. Okay, we're gonna push it up like so. And here we go, and there we go. So we're gonna check the camera real quick. All right, so that's up, up like so. That's 15, the buzzer wire is in. And now, assuming this black is gonna be, look like that. So um, 16, we're gonna go up. What we wanna do is, we're gonna fold this under like, like this. So we're gonna do a twist, fold under, that's a 45 degree angle, and then we're gonna sew it through these slip slots here. And I'm gonna push down on a little bit, not too hard because you don't wanna fold it. And then I'm gonna feed it through this middle one, middle slot. And if you can't see it, I'm gonna feed it through the middle. Okay, that's a little tougher. I could use a third hand. So I'm gonna feed it through. There's, oh, I gotta get it started at least. It's like siphoning. You gotta get it pushed through a little bit before the siphon starts. Okay, so we're gonna pull it down. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna push it through the top one. It's doing an S through these slot, our slits there. And we can see the black is faced up. So when the camera's push, pointing down, the black is up on, on the, the flex there. Okay, so we got that done. So that was 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so that's done. That's the first, first phase. Second phase, I'm gonna set that to the side, is connecting the boards. So we wanna connect the boards. So the board, I wanna get out the boards. So Raspberry Pi, zero WH. I should look up the WH, but I'm not going to right now. I'm curious what that is. So if you want to leave a comment in the description, feel free to let me know what it is. Ground myself, touch my aluminum board. Hopefully that is grounded. I'm assuming it's grounded inside. I get rid of the static. Now I was looking on here, I can see some fiberglass. So just don't run your finger the wrong way. You get those fiberglass stuck in your finger. That's no fun. Okay, so there's the general purpose input output pins, the micro SD, US, this looks like HDMI and then there's micro USBs. And if you probably look at the, and uh, look at, oh, one of them looks like it's power. Um, that could be wrong though. There's a flex connector. There's a microchip. Okay, so I think that's, that's generally that. So I'm gonna put the, the bag over, the static protector bag. So this has that look, little metallic look. And then we want the vin, vision, oh, vision bonnet. You know what? I think I just thought of why it's called a bonnet. Because it, it's a hat for the, the microcontroller. So <laughs> that's probably why. I wonder how they came up with bonnet. Oh, it looks like a hat that goes on. They probably watched uh, Little House on the Prairie. Or, or some show like that that came to them when they were making it. So it probably goes on something like that. Okay, so that's the two. Let's just match the vi the video. Um, so this one's on that side, and the bonnet is flipped over like, like so. Okay, I don't know if it needs to be that way. So I need the flex connector, and then I need two raised pins. The raised pins are in this baggie with this miscellaneous stuff. Let's just make sure it doesn't... Run, run wild all over my desk when I pour it out. That's a big plastic thing for, for a micro USB. <laughs> I'm expecting the, the converter card there, but no. Okay, so we have, okay, these are the two raised, raised, uh, what do they call them? Standoffs. Two standoffs. Okay, button harness. Oh, there's button harness. Okay, so button harness, two raised standoffs, flex cable. Okay, I think we got it all. Orient your Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna take it like so, flex connector up. And there's the microcontroller. Open the top cable, or top latch there, top cable latch. Okay, ooh, gotta be careful. Oh, it rocks back and forth. How am I gonna get that? You can use your fingernail. If you don't have a fingernail, you can get a small flat screwdriver, but you gotta be really careful not to damage it if you're using hardware. The nice thing about fingers doing it is you can feel the pressure and touch and you get a better sense of what's going on. 
So there we go. All right. So then we're gonna. We uh, okay. Need more help? This latch. Oh, it does have a warning for the latch. Drink. <sighs> Coffee. It's like go go juice. Yum. Okay. Now we're gonna insert the the flex, and it has some labels on this flex connector, and you can see Vision Bonnet, Bonnet and then Raspberry Pi. So there's the Raspberry Pi, so you flip it over, Con the copper conductors go down, they point at the board, not up, down, so black up. So here we go. So I'm gonna push down, let's see, what's the best way to hold this? Oops, the latch is, the latch has to be pulled out. Then we're gonna push in, okay, make sure the label's right. Okay, so Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi. The Vision Bonnet is the, the hat to the Raspberry Pi. It's an additional interface. So I'm going to push down on the, the latch. So I'm going to take two fingers, one on each hand. Okay, this is a little tougher. Okay, I'm going to use the pressure of the desk so I can push down. I just want to feel it kind of seat in and that, that's, that looks right. I can see the line, the printed line on the, the flex connector is pushed down. So if you look, see, there's a line there. I don't know if you can see the line, but you can see it's inserted. And then you can see the latch is, is down there. Okay, so that's important because it's so easy to get that um, out of whack. And then the connectors aren't touching and you'll have hardware problems. And you'll wonder, why is my board? Everything looks right when it's sitting inside the container. But then you open it up and re-inspect it and you'll notice your latch is incorrectly seated or the the cables cockeye here's like a there's a small semiconductor that looks like a mirror I wonder what that is it looks like a small chip that's I don't know if it's like that on everyone but that's really interesting it's a little city of electronics down there that's pretty cool. That's amazing how small they've gotten over the years. Um, so I haven't looked at the little transistors, but I can see they're dinky. Okay, next step, that's insert the short flex, close the cable connectors, uh, what, 25, 26? We're gonna, we're gonna get this one. Orient your vision bonnet. Find your vision bonnet and orient 40 pin connectors, 40 pins right here. Okay, so open up the um, cable latch on it. Ooh, it's even smaller. How, how do you open that one up? That one's interesting, this one's different. Okay, so let's read the instructions. Look at the white cable connector from the side. If the tiny black latch is standing above the white base, it is already open. Eyes are not the, like they used to be, or I need to get more light from my desk here. Hmm. Let's, let's see here. Let's just take this. I should have brought some screwdrivers in here, but let's just use this. I just wanted to see. Okay, so I can see it's moving based on, so that's, it's open. Okay. Insert, if it's closed, okay. If the black latch is lying flat, flush with the white base, it is closed. Okay, so it is open. And I can tell because there's some play within that black latch. That is so dinky. Okay, so small. Insert the flex cable. So we're gonna take it like so. We're gonna bridge them together with that. So we're gonna go in. First of all, I gotta aim for that sl the slit there. Okay, remember, copper conductors go towards the board, not up in this case. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in. Okay, so I'm gonna use the desk as a lever there. Okay, so once I get it in, it says close the cable latch connector. Close the cable latch on the vision bonnet by flipping the black the latch back down to parallel to the white base. Okay, so it must be like a lever. 
I haven't done this one. This type of latch. Oh, interesting. How in the world? That's a tough one. Let's see. I need I need some pressure here, laptop. Help me out. Not, not enough pressure on that one. Let's move over here. Okay. This one's tough. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe I can use my right hand as my. It's the strong hand. Okay. Well, I don't want to break it. I don't want to cut myself with this knife. Okay, get my screwdriver. Be right back. Start the time over. Only get 30 minutes. Okay, so I've got a driver. There's a little flathead driver, so I can move the knife out. I don't want to cut myself. So let me just see how this works to start with. Wow. Oh, it's tough for my eyes to see. Oh, funny. Oh, look at that. Okay, I get it. Let me just... Okay, so... It rocks back. Okay, so if I pull it forward... Okay, now it makes sense. So I'm just gonna... I, you, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but I'm gonna push it back. So it's like this, and then I'm going to push the top, and then it rocks back. So let's just do that again. So it sits in this upper position, and I'm going to, I, this moves a little bit, so I'm going to push, and it goes back. Okay, assume that's, that's the case. So if I look at the images, okay, so I'll know if, it, if it's going to move. So let's just match this up again, and... Okay, let's just back up here. Orient the position of this. And then we have this, like so. Okay, it says vision bonnet. And then I'm gonna put it in black is up. That's a good sign, so I'm gonna push that forward. Okay, so I get an off position. Push it forward. Interesting latch, I haven't seen that or worked with that before. Of course, it's been a while since I've done any of electronics like this, but I just love doing this stuff. Okay, so let's just see what... Okay. Can't tell if it's seated properly. Okay. There we go. Push, push down. It doesn't look seated quite right, so I'm going to try that again. I just want to, I don't want to dig on the board, just pulling it up because it locks in there pretty good. Okay, so I'm just push it down. Okay, nope, that I did it ain't even <laughs> I'm going to fight with this thing until I get it. Stinker. Okay, so let's do it sideways. Sideways. You can tell I'm really concentrating on this because you know I've made so many mistakes with these flat flex cables that I've had to take apart the electronics again and then fix them. Okay, thumb pushes it down. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty set. I'm pretty happy with that. With that. Now that's that was quite the challenge. So we're gonna drink to that. Okay. Close the cable latch. Okay, the stands. Okay, insert the standoffs. Insert the standoffs into the Raspberry Pi board in the holes opposite the pin header. That's tough. So I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, zoomed in, it offset the images, changed the position. Now that would be cool if zoom and it could keep the scroll position in the browser. Chrome engineers, that would be cool. Okay, um, okay, I see. Zooming in helps, you know, it would be cool also, now there may be 
to do is if I could just 3D image that. <laughs> So I see, okay, so I'm opposite of this. It takes two standoffs. Okay, I don't want to break that, so I'm going to push the standoff against my finger. Wow, that's, you know, that's tough. It's going to take some, whoa, how in the world? Let's try the other side. Maybe I'm going to get the feel of this. I don't want to break the board. Oh, that's hard. I almost need some needle nose. Maybe if I, oh, there's the trick. Okay, so. You rock it back and forth a little bit and it, it gets into the hole better. So rock back and forth and it doesn't take as much energy to push. If you do a direct push, it's really tough. So you can see I got the pins here and I pushed it in and, and pushed the standoffs opposite of the pins and I rocked it back and forth and pushed it at the same time. And I put both, I put pressure on the back side before before I pushed in. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so 31 line. Okay, so this is where we get to do the sandwich. Okay, so we're gonna sandwich the board. So we're gonna sandwich. Let's do, just do that. There we go. Oh, I keep, do you see that? The pins are gonna be the other, we don't need standoffs, although there's holes for standoffs there, but the pins are gonna hold that side up. So I'm gonna match the standoffs, match the 40 pins. And it's just push the short flex forward. Okay, so we're gonna sandwich this like an ice cream sandwich. Ooh, that hurts though. Okay, it hurts pushing on the solder joints there. So I'm gonna push, I'm not gonna do the standoffs yet. That's gonna, let's get, okay, so I got the pins down. So this will take a little, ooh, um, oh, that's tough. Let's push, whoa. Let's see. Oh my, my. That's tough. There we go. So I'm using my second knuckle on the fingers. There we go. You can hear it just snap in. It took quite a bit of uh, force to push that down. You may have to ask someone to get help if you, you got tender fingers. That was tough for me. Okay, so there we go. Let's just do a 360 view of that. Okay, so there we go. There's the HDMI. Ooh, there's the button. Do, 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 do. Okay, so connect the boards, check the connections. Okay. Ooh, I bent that a little bit. Looks good though. Push the center connectors of the board. Finish, make sure. Let's go back to 100% here. Okay, now I'm in the wrong position. I gotta scroll back up. Add the boards to the frame is next. Okay, damaging the ribbon or failure securely securely seat the ribbon, the flex is going to break it. So make sure you don't fold that. It could break the copper conductors in that ribbon. So, oh, and it's lead to serious injury, death, or damage to property. Ooh, I guess that would mean it, it could start a fire. If you create, if you're sending current through a smaller conductor than it's rated, you could start a fire. Maybe that's what it's alluding to. Orient your boards. Du, 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 du. Okay, so here we go. Orient. Pins on the left. Solder joints, I should say. Okay, so we have a flex connector on this side. Okay, and it looks like we're going to connect this to it on your boards. Okay, so we're going to connect that. So this, oh, same kind of latch. So I'm going to push. That pushes down. And then I'm pull. Pull this way because it's a rock. It's like this on the latch. So this is clamps down. This is up and neutral. So we can engage uh, the Starship here. So here I'm going to, oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, look at that, black down. So, okay. So, make sure the black is up. Hey, the copper conductors are down. So I'm gonna put that in, put, put it in like so. Okay, there we go. That, that's, that looks, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull it out, put it in a couple more times, just to kinda get the feel to make sure I have it seated right. Man, I want to make sure these flex connectors are just seated properly, square and perpendicular to the, the board and such. So I'm going to 
use my index finger and then I'm going to pull it back. That'll latch it, lock it down. So I'm going to set that on the ground. It has another warning to do what I just said. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to uh, orient the board like so. Let's get, get, oh, how am I going to get that board? Okay. Oh, I see. So we're coming out like so. And if you can see, I, and we're going to put the board in the, in the small crevice at the bottom here. Okay. Oh, there's even, wow. There's, okay. Wow. It went right in. That was nice. That's kind of a weird, interesting. Okay. Okay. So the, the standoff is blocking the cardboard. Get us get it around that a little bit. The standoffs on the outside here, you can see, and the cardboard's on the inside of the standoffs. So okay, that's great. I wonder where this latches to. We'll find out. Okay, so now that the boards are sitting on the first phase of the cardboard, it says check the frame of the cables. Okay, so we'll orient just like the picture. It's nice to have the picture so it's like so. And we'll just make sure everything looks good. Okay, that ribbon looks good. That ribbon still looks good. Okay, great. Now what? Okay, so now we need this gray connector. And it's called the button harness. All right, so I wonder what that's for. Okay, so that must be the, the, sh the factory's way to inventory this item. So we're going to get the button connector, and it looks, oh, interesting. So if I went like this, it would be the same if I went, went like this. Okay, so either way, I'm, I'm going to, well, I guess I'm going to put leave that out. It doesn't matter. Okay, so there's, a, there's some pins here. I want to push this down on. So, like so. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so you got to get it right. So this is the female side. You're going to push it into the male side. And it has a nook there that it's going to match up. Oh, jeez. I just bent my cardboard. I hate bending cardboard. Because now I feel like I've wrecked it. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to hold it securely this time. Okay, push. Okay, there it snapped in. So if you push down, you break, you break your cardboard. It feels like it breaks. It doesn't really break. You can bend it back. Okay, so there we go. Securely fasten the cable on. Okay, so now we get to build the box. We can set this off to the side. Let's just look. There's the cable. And now we get to build a box. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe there's an elf behind this. It's a, it just a remote sensor that goes back to a company with an elf, and the elf, maybe that's bad. No, it's, it's human. It's not human managed. It's this machine, the vision bonnet. Okay, orient the cardboard. Okay, so here we go. Um, we're gonna orient the cardboard like so. And open, open it up, so it's all folded. It's like a big, Plus there. Okay, fold A. A. A's here. B's here. Okay, so so fold A. So I'm gonna make sure it folds on the crease again. I'm gonna hold that down. Fold that's okay. So that's B. Where's A? Right, if I can remember, that's A B A B. Oh, I see. Fold A. Oh, fold it up. Okay, so fold, this is what the, we're gonna, it's a little crease there, fold it up. Oh, and there's an A on the other side. We'll do the same thing. Okay, so that's up, see that? Okay, so fold it A. Okay, so then we want to fold B. Fold B, and there's a B on the other side. Fold B, okay, so these triangle circles match up. Well, they don't match up like that. They're supposed to point up. Okay. Okay, so then we, like this, then we fold C. Oh, takes a little bit of work because 
the cardboard is spring loaded. <laughs> the joints are not. Okay, so I fold that up. Okay. Uh, should probably hold it like the images so I can match it up on that picture. Okay, peel off the adhesives um, on A there. Okay, A. I wonder why I didn't say that pull out. Oh, I see. You don't want to fold up C and then have it stick to the adhesives. You want to see, you see these adhesives. You pull that off. Let's just get rid of the, put it in the garbage pile there. Now we want to fold D. Oh, okay, so D folds in on that. Okay, so now I want to make sure it's square because we got sticky. It's like glue. So I can see there's triangles and circles. Oh, and I see they match up on the lower side. Well, that's kind of handy. So I'm going to focus on one side, oh, maybe two. Push, push, push. There we go. You can see, okay, so I, uh, it looks like I got it squared, and you can see the triangles. I don't know if you can see it, the camera is kind of small. You can see the triangles and stuff match up, so, all right, fold D. Insert tripod nut, so fold D, okay, and that sticks out. Okay, so nut, nut. Insert the nut. Oh, I see. So you take this nut, and it's got flanges here. Let's make sure. And then we can insert it. So it goes, the flanges will, okay, so you got to match up the, the angles. And you insert it over the hole. Okay, so that's cool. So you can see the hole there. It looks like it's um, the same kind of quarter inch, 20, 20 uh, thread, um, like a camera. Maybe that's so you can mount it. We'll see in a minute. Okay, so, oh, that is a tripod nut. Oh, that's, that's cool. So it's the same, you know, I use these same tripod nut, or nuts, well, not nuts, but bolts to mount my hardware for, that's a uh, recording here. All right, we get another fold E. Okay, so fold E. These are folding a little better. Okay, I'm going to sure it folds right. Okay, fold E, and then fold F, fold F. Uh, okay, so looks like E goes, oh, I see, fold E, and like so. So let's just do that. So fold E goes down. This is actually tougher than I thought it would be, folding, because you got to get all the dimensions right and make sure the the flaps are in the right. Okay. And I bet you these looks like the same because we have a circle triangle there. And those must that triangles match up with the lower area. So we remove the adhesives. So down below, I'm gonna remove these adhesives on the inside. Oh so remove the adhesives. And this is G. So we're gonna Fold G down and match the arrows there. Okay, the triangles. Maybe I should call them arrows because they match up. Okay, so let's fold G down. That's 49. And 50, fold and secure the other side. Repeat the previous two steps the other side. Ensure that the arrows are aligned. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so I did both sides. Okay, so 51, fold bottom flap. Fold down the bottom retaining flap and bend it to the center so the tip points towards you. Okay. So let's just orient here. Oh, okay. So it becomes like a stair step. So there's the screw stair step. And then we're going to fold up. Okay, like so. That's what it looks like. Now... We bring it all together. So it's like the, a big ship and they, I'm gonna fold that back a little bit soon. Okay, so we have this folded down and now we're gonna insert. Okay, so you wanna make sure that's sticking out. I see. And we're gonna insert. So you can see the SD card goes there, and there's an SD card, so if that, that's a marker you can use to figure out where you need to go. Now make sure you don't 
don't I'm not I want to make sure I don't wreck these flex connectors so I'm gonna push those in a little bit so they don't get yanked up oh I see there's see there's a slot here too that one of the this goes into oh same for the other side but you can't really tell it's it's a little deeper there so I can line that those up got to get those into the spot oh that's quite a few pieces okay the flex whoa Just, I'm going to pull that out of this on the side, that flex can it. Ooh, this one too. So you got to give it a little push there. So it bends, not goes at an angle. That could cause some problems. Okay, so there's the SD card. Okay, I can see G and G. There's little hooks on the side there. You know, I thought this was going to be deeper, but it's actually not square or cubed. It's more like rectangles on the side. So, okay, so check the boards. Stop. Okay, so we're bringing it all together. I've got the boards inserted, and we're going to check the boards and wires so I can see um, everything looks like the pictures. Now you can zoom in with Control Plus or Command Plus into the pictures if you want to get a little better view to match it with the board. And um, I've, I can see I've been inspecting, let's see, I should say you've been noticing I've been inspecting, but I don't see anything that looks out of, out of, out of whack. Okay. Okay, so I can see the camera here. It looks like it's centered just so. I can give it a little bit of a kind of pressure so I can see that's not sitting too far back. That looks right. Okay, so we're going to install the lead, so I need the little black sleeve or insert, and I, I need the, the lead, so the, I guess it's called a lead bezel and a privacy lead. And that is, okay, so I'm going to flip it over, there's where the bezel gets inserted into, so I'm going to push the bezel in to the cardboard box frame. Now the, the lead the privacy lead, you have to say privacy, oh, the privacy lead, it's named privacy because it'll tell you it's recording or something, I'll let you know there's activity. How in the world, the privacy lead, it's got a, now you have to have small fingers to get it into that. How am I going to, this, this is actually harder. I need needle nose. Okay, I guess the wire has some stiffness so I can give it a little push. Well, that doesn't feel right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some needle nose. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got some needle nose. And what I want to do is I'm going to make them finger extensions. I'm going to clamp down just below the base of the lens so that way it has a little bit easier time. And then I'm going to just give it a little better push because I want to get that seated just right. Okay, that was so much easier. A little harder though. Maybe it was seated. Okay, so I think I could have done that with my fingers too. Right, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to push on it just to make sure it's seated. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. So if you can see, you can see that the lead bulb just hits the, the base of the surface, so it's like water tension. So it's just hovering just above there. Our, our, okay, so I'm just going to make sure it's seated. Okay, so I, well, it's nice to have a needle nose to kind of push down. So let's get rid of that, put in the junk pile. Okay, so that's the privacy lid. So check the other side. Yeah, it looks good. And we have installed the hardware. This is the last step of build the kit. So this is awesome. So here we go. I need the switch. Let me get the switch out. Okay, so if you do <laughs> that was clever. So if you like that, you gotta pull the, the flange part up to the, the the push button there. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's cool. So that's where the the switch goes. So I get the switch and the and what do they call that? The button nut. So the button nut, okay. 
So you take the button nut, so this is the base, the flange is the base, or the, the widest part here. So I'm going to push it up so we get the box like so, and then I'm going to thread all the wires through it. So there, there we go, thread the wires through it. All three, there's three wires that are sticking out. Okay, so the piezo button, privacy lead, and button um, harness cable. So I thread that through. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is thread it through the base of the hole here. So I'm going to bend this down. I need all three of those wires to go up and through. Through there. There we go. Okay, so there's the base of it, the flange. And there we go. All three wires are sticking out. Now we're going to plug them into to the, the button. This is a nice little button. That is cool. Uh, it's got some other, uh, other maybe that's part of the switch, or the base. Oh, it's, okay, so we go plug wires into push button. Plug wires into push button. Get your push button, hold it upside down. Okay, so I'm going to match this. Okay. And then we have... Get your push button, hold it down, upside down. For, for words, piezo lead and bonnet, they'll, they'll be tiny. Then take the piezo buzzer cable and plug it into, okay, so I can get the piezo, I can get this big cable. You can see, because it's got a, it's got a little knob there, and I'm gonna push this down. Okay, so that, that was easy. That was easy. Button, like, stable button. And it looks like these, these, they are tiny. Okay, it doesn't look like, it uh, looks like they're the same thing. So I'm just going to pick the match up here. So the, the, how you mate these buttons. Wow, the, they're so small, the little, I mean, all, oh, well, are, oh, I can see that they look different. Now let's just compare these. Are they the same or different? They look exactly the same, but the holes look different. I'm going to assume they're the same. Let's see here. Okay, so they have rails. So you got to get the rails right. Okay, so the there's two little pins, and the pins face to the left and the rail. So you're gonna have to play with this. So I'm gonna use this because I got fat fingers. I'm just gonna push, ooh, this is a little harder than I thought. Sometimes I use this to have a push down. Okay, yeah, so I just got to have it right so it's, it seats all at the same time the right way. So I'm gonna take this two pins face out. The rails are in the right direction. Oh boy, that's tough. Oh. And they're springy too. Okay, so the rails. Okay, I'm gonna match up the rails. Okay, there it is. So I got it partially seated, so I'm just gonna use that to push. Ooh, I don't want to jam. I've jammed the key. I've taken these screwdrivers and jammed in the board because I'm using force to push it down, but you gotta be gentle. Okay, so now we're gonna insert the push button. Okay, I'm going to pull the wires and insert it through the, so there's some slack here, it's like fishing for a button, I'm going to reel it in, push it through, oh, I need to get that bolt or nut cinched up, okay, there we go, then righty tighty, lefty loosey, <laughs> that's how I remember Okay, oh, the thing about threads and a nut is you got to have them angled just right so it doesn't, it goes on right. So let's see here. I'm trying to do this in slightly of a hurry, so maybe that's the wrong approach. Okay, did I get it? That's, oh, I think, uh, I don't know. This is, you got to have it on just square there. Oh, the box. 
it has a so okay there we go so I'm just going to get this nut cinched up so that it sandwiches between the button head and the, the base there so that way the, the button is secure okay there we go cinching it up and then we're going to make sure that those are seated to get the lids out okay okay there we go yes cinch so we have extra wire hanging out. 63, secure the button. 64, check the completed box. Yes. All right, on. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna fold these wires and push them in a little bit. Okay, and then you wanna fold this over. H, fold H, close the box. Oh, and you can see the back there. Oh, let's see how well I got the folded pieces. Okay, I'm gonna fold that that lip down, push it down. So, okay, so I'm gonna get that lined up a little better, and then I'm gonna okay fold that lip in. Wow, I did it! So awesome. There's the general purpose input output pins, the HDMI data and power. Over here we have this SD card. Well, it gives you a little bit of little bit of room there to put your fingers in because it's deep. There's the privacy lead, the camera, the piezo um, speaker. I'll call it so you know it, it outputs sound. In case you don't know what piezo is or piezo. There we go. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna like smile. Cheese. Ooh, this will be good. So I can put this on a tripod and put this outside to look at the squirrels. I can, oh, I, I, there's probably a lot of things. So, so keep your eyes peeled for future episodes to see what this does. Okay, so we're going to insert the SD card. So the SD card right here. But I'm going to take this to the desktop and I'm going to uh, follow the instructions because there's an update to the, I'll call it the operating system. It's also called the firmware in some cases and some, um, some uh, methods or methodologies. I'm not going to cover that right now. But I'll update the operating so, or the instructions on this card so when we insert it, it updates the, the, the models or whatever it is that um, they fixed. You know, because there's bugs in software and they fix bugs. And that's what they're telling me. There's updates on the web. We'll get this updated. Now, in order to do that, what I didn't cover is I have a micro SD card. I need a micro SD card on my laptop. And I'm going to cover that here in a minute. And then we'll get that all set up. And then we'll flash that. Get the power hooked up. And congrats. You've made it this far with me, so thanks for watching so far. And now we're going to go to the next phase of experimenting with this after I flash it. So keep watching. I'll be here. Okay, so I'm back, and what I just did is I took this little micro, I mean it's micro, mini, small, pico. Okay, this little, fly, I went plugged it into my computer. I had to have a little dongle because I have a, I don't have one on my computer itself. So I had to have a dongle. And so that's something I didn't talk about in the beginning of the video. So I'll include a description below to how to get one of those if you don't know. And what I did is plugged it in and I followed the instructions to flash it. And I'm going to include that as a second video. And you can go to my YouTube channel and find that. And I'll leave a link to that below in the description as well. And so I updated what I call the operating system, and some places it calls the, the firmware, or I think everything is on board. I don't quite know yet, so we won't call it firmware. But they do call it a system image in the instructions. And so what I want to do is plug that into the SD card slot. And so it looks a little cockeyed, but uh, I see the copper goes down, so it meets up with the, the board there. So I'm going to push it in and just get it in there snug. Okay, like so. Alright, there's the SD card. It's plugged in. So that's the first step. So now, 
where you match this up with the instructions is try it now. And so we're going to try one of the models or data models, which is the, the where it recognizes the facial expressions, emotions. So I go, eyes, jeez, or frown. And it will also take pictures. So let's get to that. So I'm going to take out the last piece, which is the USB cable. And I no longer need this pretty cardboard box. So I'm going to move it off to the archive pile here. And well, I don't need that anymore. So that goes off to the pile. And so I've got to plug this in. Oh, they always put zip, little wraps around it so it's tied up. Okay, let's plug this in. Now if my room's warm enough, it'll unfold relatively easily. If your room's cold, the wire's stiff. So plug that in. Okay, got the secret wire here, plug in. And then, let's see, do I have enough length? Okay, so where do I want to plug it in? So I'm always hesitant to plug in the power the very first time because I'm thinking, did I put everything together correctly? And if I didn't, I might fry it, burn it, break it, short it. And believe me, I've done that. And I'm so, I have that little like hesitation thinking, will it work? And so there's a data port and a power port, which is a micro USB, an HDMI, and GPO. And I want to make sure I plug this into power because the data looks like the same port. And so what I want to do is just plug it in. Plug it in. Okay. I got to make sure I match it up. Okay, so I want to plug it in. Oh, I, what's the deal? I'm matching up the D shape. And it just doesn't feel like it wants to go in. Ooh, and pushing down on it. Either that or my USB cable's new, so. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. A little wiggle, a little wiggle cut it in. It's making me nervous because if you put pressure on it, you can hear the cardboard crunching. That didn't sound good to me, so I was getting a little bit worried like I didn't do it right. So, but I got the power plugged in. So, What's next? Let's look at the instructions where it says try it now. It says turn it on. It says plug your kit into the power supply. And I did that. Let it boot up. Okay. Oh, there's green light in there. I see the green light in the background. So to confirm it's connected to the power, look into the hole of the cardboard labeled SD, SD card. You'll see a green LED light flashing on the Raspberry Pi board. Oh, there it goes. It just started flashing. Inter Is that sound activated or it's randomly flashing? It looks like it's almost dancing to my voice, but I'll just... I, it's probably not. It's probably just coincidence. Be patient while it boots up. The first time it takes a few minutes. You'll know it's booted when you hear a short tune. The software needs some time to install and configure settings in the future. It will start faster. Well, it's like under construction. You remember the web pages? I don't know if you remember, but I do. Now, maybe my gray hair tells you that. But I remember when the websites, we'd put a little construction, and then you'd want to do dynamic HTML, and then, and then you'd want it to spin a little bit to say, oh, my site is almost there. It's under construction. Yay! <laughs> Not anymore. We don't do that anymore, do we? I don't hear any tune yet. Okay, so I might need to fast forward this a little bit because, you know, why, why make you wait when I could just hit fast forward on the editing or post process? So, okay, here we go. Fast forward. Okay, so... Okay, so it has installed. Oh, it just noticed my face. Did you see that light go on? Jeez. Ooh, that was kind of cool. That's wrong. Do you see that? If so, if you're noticing, this light will change according to my facial expression. So this is what comes installed by the default. And you can see 
it recognizes my face, let me just do a flat expression. Jeez. Oh, so a flat to frown is going to be blue. And a smile is going to turn. And you kind of have to have it like arm's length away, probably the focus. And in the next video, what I, uh, what I want to do is explore using the HDMI out and eventually in my squirrel chaser video, I'm going to use this GPO out to control a relay. We'll do some programming on this and we'll program it to scare squirrels. So it'll go, hey squirrel, there's a squirrel and then trigger something. And by the way, if you didn't watch the first part of the movie, or this video, um, comment below and let me know what I should trigger to scare a squirrel away. Now I gotta be friendly, I'm not gonna be doing anything that will hurt the squirrels. I just wanna give them a little shock and awe. Like, hey, go away, I wanna scare them away from the bird feeder and so I can have more pretty birds land. Okay, jeez. Jeez, so that's really cool. Okay, so I wanna try taking a picture this time so I'll see how it turns out, and then maybe I'll share it on the video. Um, you can see what it will look like. Okay, so, jeez. <laughs> I don't know if that took a picture, it doesn't have a click. So, let's see. <laughs> I'm assuming it did, you know, maybe I didn't get the buzzer connected. Maybe, and maybe I didn't. Oh, I'm hoping I did. Oh, well, we'll find out <laughs> when I take, take it. So I just say, geez. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's pretty much it for the very first data model. And so, like it's, it said earlier in the project, it is hackable. And I really want to explore the, the, what you can do with the data models and TensorFlow says data models because what you do is the training turns into a data model. It's the storage container that stores the different gestures, behaviors, emotions, objects. It's like training a baby. You show them the letter A after a while, pretty soon they recognize the letter A. Well, you could do the same thing with this. You could show up the letter A over and over in different angles and it would learn that's a letter A. Letter A upside down. Letter A, right side up. Now that's a little bit, that's really generalized, but training this thing is pretty nifty because it has this, that vision bonnet, which is linked up with the microcontroller, with, which is run by uh, Raspberry Pi and TensorFlow as the platform that takes the data model and turns it into um, what we want it to do. So that's really cool. This, so, this is exciting. I'm excited to explore this more, but I'm not going to do it in this episode because it's already pretty long. So I'll, you'll have to say this will be to be continued in the next episode or next video. We'll explore this in greater detail. We'll get the keyboard out. We'll get the HDMI connector hooked up to a monitor and we'll have a mouse hooked up to it. We'll do a little Python programming. Um, if you're not familiar with Python, don't worry because I'm not either, but it doesn't look that tough. It looks really similar to the other object-oriented programming languages. So we'll explore that in a little bit greater detail. And here we go. The last spatial recognition and then we'll get to the next episode and keep your eyes peeled. So what you want to do is subscribe below. Hit the subscribe button. That really fuels my engine. As well as like. If you like the video and you want to see more of these, I really want to do more of them. And it really fuels my gas tank if you hit like it. Just, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming and stopping by today and spending a little time with me. I hope you liked it and I look forward to sharing some more of these in the future. Thanks for watching today. See you later. See you in the next episode or video.